<laughs> Long fingers, silent steps. The perpetrator was Rufus. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Um, I think the post office is open. Me, oh my, I think... Yeah, right! You didn't expect that now, did ya? <laughs> no. No, right? <laughs> uh, hi. Please state your business. Where can I make a radio call? Outgoing radio calls can be made from every registered private radio device. I want to place a forwarding request. State the reason for your forwarding request. Well, I'll be living in Elysium in the future. Self-importance error. Where would I find one of these registered private devices? There is no radio device registered for long distance calls. What's that supposed to mean? It has to be possible to make outgoing calls somehow. Not while using a private radio device. Are there other radio devices registered? There are three registered devices for local calls. One is situated in the mayor's office. Another at the front desk counter in the town hall. The communication system of the emergency station is the third one. But. It's only possible to make internal calls from there? Well, that's perfect. Are there absolutely no long-distance devices? There are no long-distance devices except the listening post of the post office and the reserve system in the vault. Well, so there are two of them after all. Both devices are not cleared for public use. Damn. I'd like to register a private radio device for long-distance calls. Very well. Where shall the device be installed? Um, Tony's house is located in Grid Square 4, right at the East Tunnel exit. Your order has been placed. The installation of the device will presumably be completed in calendar week 63. What? That's a quarter of a year from now. I'll have long since left Kuvac by then. The installation of the device will take 3.799 months. During this period, your house will be disconnected from the electricity grid and the community's water mains. Ear protection mops for the noise during the nightly drilling are included in the costs. By what means do you wish to pay? Yeah, ah, uh, Tony will pay for me. May I enter the vault? Over the corroded remains of my wrecked body. <laughs> I think I can arrange that. What's that scratching noise? Is that coming from behind the hatch? Yes. It's the Postal Service replacement cat scratches you catch. The scratching from behind the hatch matches that of Postal Service replacement cats, exactly? It's the unlatched Postal Service replacement cat's hatch. Wow. Postal Service replacement cats. <laughs> That's cute. And quite useful. I have to replace the regular Postal Service cats when they catch dirt. But. Don't you have to clean the unlatched Postal Service Replacement Cat's hatch? I do have to clean the unlatched Postal Service Replacement Cat's hatch, but there's an unmatched catch. So what's the unmatched catch with the unlatched Postal Service Replacement Cat's hatch? I have to dispatch the batch of Postal Service Replacement Cats from the unlatched Postal Service Replacement Cat's hatch to a latched Postal Service Replacement's catch back on hatch. Holy moly. Dude, you're no fun at all. I mean, don't you ever have some fun on your job? Define fun. Oh, man, you're hopeless. I'm talking about F-U-N, like when someone falls into an open sewer right in front of your eyes or accidentally sets fire to his own foot. Destruction is fun. Yes, as long as it's not happening to you. I like popping the bubbles in bubble wrap. Is that fun, too? Whoa, if you're into that kind of thing. 
Unfortunately, I only ever need bubble wrap to pad packages that contain smaller objects which have accidentally been put into boxes of postage level 3, and that very rarely ever happens. But when it happens, I guess it's party all around, right? <laughs> See you later. in a hamster wheel. Aww, cute and strange. So a cat licks the stamps? Well, I hope it knows what it's doing. A bit too slow or a bit too fast and whoops-a-daisy, the package gets the wrong postage. Error, error. All right, suit yourself. This needs an adapter. Small jack to uh, big jackass. <laughs> yeah, right, it should shift back a gear. Come on, kitty, kitty, kitty. <laughs> I like how it's all relaxed now. <laughs> it's stamping the package is much slower than before. Hey, I don't abuse pets, and in exchange, they're more than happy to help me with my experiments. <laughs> right, it should shift back a gear. Come on, kitty, kitty, kitty. <laughs> I like how it's all relaxed now. Uh, hi. Please state your business. So you have a thing for bubble wrap? Unfortunately, I only ever need bubble wrap to pad packages that contain smaller objects and that Postal service rep- And quite useful. I have to replace the regular postal service cats when they catch dirt. But don't you have to clean the unlatched postal service replacement cats hatch? I do have to clean the- So what's the- I have to- Holy moly. See you later. <laughs> 